What is up, guys? Wall J here, and I'm here with my co-host. Sherry Art of War. No, Sherry of War. I Jesus. fucked that up again. She fucked it up again. <laughs> A.K.A. Red Sonia. A.K.A. Ginger Ninja. All right, so make sure that, that you introduce everybody else. No? Okay. That's your turn. With us, we have the squirrel, Chris Crawford. Yo, yo. Jeremy Sturgeon, A.K.A. The Drone Hustler. <laughs> and behind the boards, as always, we do have producer Chris. Hola. He speaks Spanish now. A little bit. Feliz yeah. Navidad. I like that. So it's been a while, Chris, since we had you on. It's been actually about a year. I, I was uh, going through my Facebook memories, and I saw a picture of you with us, and I'm like, oh, man, that was last December as well. It's crazy. So. It does feel like a year. Yeah, how about you get closer to the mic or speak You've up, man? You've been on man. here before? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we've had him. A yeah, last year. Talking yeah, last to the mic. Yeah, last year. Yeah. It what was it What was it last year we were doing Would you? Uh, what was what was the event? Coming up or? Was it the fight? Maybe. What month was it? It was in December. <laughs> December. Maybe it was after. I think I had like my first fight with Combat Night in November of last year. I want to say. Okay. I think so. I, I think maybe we. I, maybe I came on before, and maybe I came on after. That's the one with the with the RNC, right? Rear naked chub. Yeah. With the BJ hook. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's do this. Yes, sir. We know you kicked ass on that one. <laughs> Let's get the last one out of the way. Because <laughs> okay. I saw. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Listen, I, I, we were here. We were doing the podcast. She ran off the door because she was going to the fights. Uh-huh. I still had to edit. I was like, fuck, I'm going to miss the fight. Sure as shit, I missed your fight. I missed the fight too. Oh, and <laughs> and on my way to the fight, somebody texted me, hey, uh, Squirrel lost. Uh-huh. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, I think I had gotten there after your fight and he texted me. He was. I was like, well, I see Squirrel, so I think he already went. And he goes, how does he look? And I'm like, uh. <laughs> I mean, he didn't look like, yeah. So yeah. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> so I saw a clip the other day, and that fucking clip led me to believe that you fucking won. You're welcome. C- c- yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, it was yours, yeah. Because, uh, so you guys start exchanging. You drop them. Yeah. Dude, I was and surprised then you get on top one. of them. And, you know, it cuts away after you landed, like, 22 punches or whatever. But, so, talk to us about the fight. Man, all right, so, I uh, I definitely felt pretty good. You know, I was excited. You look good. And uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. It was, uh, you know, I, last few months building up to it, I had a lot of crazy stuff kind of happen. You Some know? drama, okay. Lots of, yeah, lots of drama. Um, so... But that, that didn't really, like, have too much of an effect. But, like, it was definitely kind of, like, you know, motivating me a little bit. But I had a whole different corner. Um, but I had Dean Grant, who's, like, you know, been there since yeah. day one anyway. Yeah. He's so awesome. Yeah. Dean's the man. You know, but I had... Uh, well, I don't know if you know, but I'm a purple belt under Dean, so... Oh, oh that's right. Yeah. I have some film of you, actually. I think oh, you were yeah. in one of mine. <laughs> Y'all so working anyway. on, like, heel hooks or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I had uh, Matt Vaughn. I was there. I've been working with him and Ramon. Striking, uh, yeah. For, for, my, for my boxing the last few months. Um, and then my buddy Julian. Um, I trained with him and lived with him as well. Cool. You know, that's overall my homie. Um, but yeah, I felt good. Uh, it just went so fast. Like, I definitely, I didn't even remember throwing a kick. Like, I was I was trying to, like, maybe just punch the first round, if anything. Mm-hmm. But of course, the kick slipped out. And the hook just came, like, naturally. And, you know, I saw, I saw he dropped and it took me like a second or two to like realize it. And then I was like, oh shit. So like, I had to like, I had to like capitalize and I kind of like, I kind of like, you know how they say you get like a tab happy. I kind of got like, I guess like TKO happy or something. Cause like, I kind of like just didn't really think. And I just like jumped and like jumped on him in like a higher mount than I should have. And just did like the fastest punches when I should have just kind of like. You know, been stacked over them and just kind of pick the shots. Bring the big ones. Yeah. Um, but it is what it is. He, like, kind of inverted like a Hail Mary. Right. So I couldn't really hit him. I hit, like, on top of his head, but it wasn't anything. So I was trying to uh, just, like, pry his feet off. And the ref was like, no toe holds, no toe holds. And I was like, you know, I wasn't even thinking, like, a toe hold. But I didn't want him to, like, you know, DQ me. 
So I switch out my grip from like two hands, I think, on the foot to like maybe like a foot and the knee. So I pry it off. I get a leg off. Cool. He ends up turning it into a knee bar. And I was honestly knew he was going to try a knee bar because I see him doing a lot of knee bars at local little tournaments. Um, but I'm flexible. And so I was like stacked. I, got, I should have punched a little bit harder, but like, you know, I, in the heat of the moment, I was just like, let it go for a sec. And then like, I started punching and I rear naked choke and stack the fence I got to mount. And then, um, I don't know what happened. We ended up getting back up somehow, or I don't know what, what the hell happened. I, I, at one point I, um, had the opportunity to probably sit back up and, uh, I ended up pulling back to like rubber guard and I tried to, uh, I cleared his head, but I didn't grab my toes. So it's like the, like the go, go wouldn't have been there. I didn't grab the far side wrist, so like I, I couldn't have done like a good uh, cardi or whatever. Yeah. But I went for that anyway, but I didn't have that wrist, so it was nothing. So then like I kind of abandoned that. I like grabbed, got back up, and then like kind of like shuffled around, and then thinking to just like trying to take me back down. I think I at some point I grabbed the cage. And I was like instinct. Ref was like, you know, watch out. Yeah. And then goes for another takedown. I fucking grab it again. I was like, oh shit. And, like, for the first time ever, like, the ref, like, made it, like, a pretty big deal. You know, it was a pro event, so I totally understand. Yeah. And, and um, Larry is, like, super professional. Been refing a long time, so, um, you know. He, Did he, he yell at you? He, he well, stood us up. He paused the, the fight. And he, I thought he was going to DQ me. I was like, fuck. And, um, but he told uh, the judges, everyone, like, one point, minus one point. And then uh, what was the weirdest thing is they reset me back <laughs> on my back. Rather than like maybe just resetting a standing, like they reset me back on my back. It's like in a, it was super awkward. It was, it was very like awkward. Went, went silent. It was just. I looked at Dean. I was like, "What?" It's, it was Dean weird because they yeah. stood him up to take the point. You know, yeah. you would think that they would start standing back up, or, right? Or, but it was weird. He gave him a really hell of a position when they 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 put yeah. you back down. He was like already like in a super compromising position. But you know, luckily I didn't get like uh, you know like too much like damage from that spot right when the bell got re-rung but i think at some point i stood back up and then he took me back down and then uh he did the same thing pretty much i did whenever i got to mount only i think his mount was probably a lot more stable than mine and he just rained down these like super fast punches and i hear dean in in the corner like get your frames get your frames so you know i try to get my frames i'm trying to really overhook his arm so he can't punch me right but he, I think he landed at least one, like, decent one. Like, it wasn't, like, the heaviest punches, but it was just, like, so many, you know? Yeah. So it was kind of like, oh, crap. Like, oh, shit. Like, you know, like, I don't really drill from that. Like, just letting someone just punch me from mount. <laughs> well, who the fuck wants to drill well, that? I wouldn't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. But, um, yeah, I kind of, I honestly, like, I feel like I gave up, honestly, in the heat of the moment. Because I, t- I spun and I just tapped. Because I felt like it was eventually like I didn't want him to get like that like a really good shot, you know. Because uh, well, it's like I told you. I you, you texted me, and you said that you felt a certain way. And I'm like, dude, you know, you can't you can't really possibly know what's going to happen. So if you feel like you couldn't get away and he had you in a compromising position, it's yeah. better to fucking tap because that next punch that comes down that you're not expecting is the one that can put your lights out and, and even hurt you permanently. Totally. So, totally. you know, for people that just go online and talk shit because that's all they do, yeah. you know, <laughs> and say, oh, what a bitch, oh, he sucks, whatever. They don't know shit, you know, because they, they, they're not the ones in the cage. So, you know, don't worry about that shit, man. Yeah, no, I was like, you know what? No one likes to lose, but it's like, there's got to be a winner. There's got to be a loser. But I felt good. Every time I've been in there, I've been, I've been feeling like it's more comfortable and I feel like a little bit better every time. I feel like I always take away something. And, uh, well, thanks to him. I thought you won. I'm I'm like, did he really lose? (laughs) I'm so damn, I'm so damn hungry to like get back in there and like redeem it too. But, uh, you know, Ricky got it fair and square for sure. You know, I just like, Looking back, because I realized there was like eight seconds or some shit left in the first round, I'm I'm like extra like kind of mad at myself. Like ah man, like should have just like toughed it out, dude, or like just try to like you know do what you could for eight more damn seconds. But you know it's easier said than done. It's easier to be like ah oh, what what have shoulda coulda you know. But, do you think for training, are you going to add a little bit more punching into the mix? I should get used I'm, to I'm it. I'm definitely gonna be like working more like. uh 
Yeah, like recovery. I forget what like Matt calls it, but it's like obviously like just overhooking the arms and like you know making sure someone can't get the leverage to punch you. Like I need to work more of that for sure. But yeah, I just gotta like do more wrestling really, and just kind of I kind of played more jujitsu. I feel like. Um, rather than like, I should have played more of like a wrestler in this fight. You know? Well, that's because you're comfortable off your back. Yeah, you know, but I should have been like, I've been trying to, I've been doing more chokes and stuff in top heavy game the last few months, but you know, I should have showed it rather than try to like do something a little too flashy. You know, I should have like, I should have tried just to stay on top or just like tried to get the back rather than like, but it's like, fuck, it's like heat of the moment. You don't know what's going to happen. You know, like I didn't yeah. know I was going to drop that dude. You know, shit, like, uh, yeah, no, one, no one knows what's going to happen. It looked good. I was like, did, did he lose? And I started texting people, did he really lose? You know, I'm stoked because, like, really, like, uh, you know, like, the last, like, three months, you know, after, you know, this whole, you know, kind of drama stuff has been happening before the fight, like, that's kind of when, like, I just kind of, I've still been doing nothing but jiu-jitsu, but I've been doing a lot more striking, a lot more striking and technique and stuff and working with different guys and, um. Well, I know Gene Batista is now at the training yard doing some some training. You know, I think it's on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Yes, sir. So are you taking advantage of that? I haven't had the opportunity to yet, but yeah, yeah, I go. uh, This guy. He's there. He's been there on Saturday so far. Yes, sir. Yeah, he's a... He had a... I think he, like, stepped on a nail or something really bad (laughs) like a week ago, so he couldn't make it. That sucks. Yeah. But, yeah, man, I've been getting a lot of good work in the training yard. Once well, fuck. Guys go there. It sounds like you're on your <laughs> way, bro. So, I mean, you go from a fight to a tournament two weeks later. Talk yeah. to me about the tournament. So, how, how did that come about? So, I saw Finishers Sub Only or Finishers TV. or It's it's essentially like Finishers MMA, which is Tim Plant at Bethlehem. Right. Um, That's uh, JM and Zach, right? Yeah. And... Um, I met JM prior to this. He's come to Jacksonville. He's on a seminar. I rolled with him. Yeah. Super cool dude. Um, and I've rolled with one of their guys, uh, Renee. He came to AB back in the day once. And I think, like, I, ro- I rolled with him. And it's, I think he spent a couple of days here. So I was a little familiar with those guys. But uh, I, so I followed him. And I saw they had this an event come up. It was a flyweight event. And they were, like, looking for, like, 16 of the best – or eight. It was an eight-man flyweight tournament. They were looking for, like, the best flyweights. And uh, it looked like, you know, it was a super good opportunity. It was going to be streamed on, you know, a lot of different, you know, channels and stuff that I haven't really been a part of. And um, I saw it as a win-win because I've always wanted to go to that gym, train with those guys, and I'm, I'm all about traincations. And, uh, you know, I had I had I have uh, buddies that live over in that area. So I was like, let's see what we can do. And um, I reached out to him, and I just told him I was down. And then um, I think like a day or two later, he confirmed. He's like, he's super, like, are you down? Like Zach was. Uh, Zach and I were talking, and um, I looked into like travel, and I kind of waited a day or two. And at that point, when I hit him back up, it was full, and it was already full at 16. It went from 8 to 16, mm-hmm. already full. I was like, damn. And uh, I just told him, I was like, man, just keep me the loot. You know, like, you know, I'm, I'm really down. And um, – so he arranged, like, he kind of penciled me in for, like, a super fight. He's like, dude, just get your ticket. Uh, we'll get you a super fight with this guy. So that way you're already going to be here. And if anyone pulls out, which someone probably will, so it's like a month prior, I believe. Um, he's like, then uh, we'll just throw you in. And literally the morning of my fight, he te- he hits me up. He's like, yo, someone pulled out. He's still in. I was like, fuck, fuck yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was like the morning <laughs> of the fight. So it was like, it was perfect because uh, I had a lot of shit going into that one too. Um, there, what the fuck happened? Oh, man. Oh, this is a lot of I saw your post and I'm like, what the fuck? You have, like, if you don't have, uh, I mean, bad luck. It's all you have. If you didn't have any bad luck, you would have no luck at all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up, man. <laughs> well, you know, last year with the whole thing with the car issue, uh, having to ride the bus for a while. That was a good one. But anyway, so what happened? Oh, man. I I don't want to go into like full details or anything. I uh, was, but she's not pregnant, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> it's an inside thing for everybody that knows. There was a there was like a point where like I was in the tournament and then um and then some 
some drama started occurring, you know, some, some stuff. And, uh, they, I pretty much, uh, so I reached out to him and I kind of just like hit him up, just letting him know, like, I didn't really tell him any details, but I was like, Hey man, I got, got some stuff going on, just making sure it's not going to be an issue. Um, you know, traveling out there and competing, you know, I really want to compete. Right. And, uh, you know, I sent that to, uh, you know, Jam and Zach and, um, you know, I, I heard back that, you know, I got, I got pretty much pulled from it. I was told to get, to get pulled from the event. And, um, so I, that I kind of had to like, let them know some like personal stuff, you know, stuff I'm like, still not really, you know, it's not really getting out. It's not really, I can't really yeah, talk yeah, don't, about don't, it, obviously. You don't have to go into the details but, um, of it. I had to talk to them about it, you know, and I barely know them, you know, barely yeah. know JM, you know, don't really know Zach, just know, we're just familiar because of 10th Planet, you right. know, so, you know, I knew it was kind of a little bit of a long shot, but I had to, you know, I was uncomfortable, but I had to be honest, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm sure. always, I always try to be as honest as I can, but, you know, I had to tell them, you know, completely my side and stuff, and, you know, luckily they heard me out, and, you know, they kept me in it, and, um. Shout out to those guys, I always yeah, liked them. But there was a day, yeah. there was like a good day or two where, like, I accepted, like, you know, fuck, I'm not in it. Like, whatever, you know, like, you know, Thanksgiving's coming up or whatever. But, right. um, you know, after a couple of days, I was like, hell yeah, I'm in it. You know, I was still kind of skeptical, but I was like, I was stoked. Um, so, yeah. fuck the drama. You get to, you get to bed. <laughs> what happened? What, what did you, uh, the first, the first match, man, that was so fucking dope. Oh, dude. Hell you were yeah, just dude. like moving. I, was having fun with that one. I mean, the second one too. You just, you know, it, it was just what, like uh, uh, overtime. That yeah, we went all three overtime, four overtime rounds. But anyway, talk yeah. to talk to me about the tournament though. So you get to Bethlehem, you get situated, you take a big poop, lose your ten pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you, you want like the whole thing or just the day of the tournament? Yeah, what that, that's fine. Just day of tournament. How, how did you feel going into the tournament? Dude, uh, so yeah, I felt I felt good, man. I. I wasn't, I was eating like a, you know, restricted diet. I didn't eat much on Thanksgiving, you know, I, I ate a little bit, but I was, I was trying to like maintain it, you know, I, uh, in between that fight, you know, I, I definitely grubbed, but I was trying to maintain the, my eating and then I, I cut like 10 pounds of water weight and I somehow like, I honestly, no one really like, like I honestly like, I fucked up big time whenever I was cutting weight for my MMA fight, like this last one. Why? Like, what happened? I um I cut weight by myself. I wasn't really thinking, but I needed to do it. And, you know, like, everyone's got their own shit they got to do. Right. And I've done it before, but, like, you know, I didn't really, like, think too much into it. Like, uh, so I, uh, you know, I did, like, 30 minutes straight. And I was, like, I went to uh, – I don't even want to put them on blast, but I went to a place and – um and they support me. They're one, they're, they're definitely like a sponsor. I look at them as a sponsor, but I'm not going to call them out right now on this. I don't, I don't think they want this out, but. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds but, funny, but let's, let's leave it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I essentially, long story short, is I pass out like two times, not once, but twice in one day cutting weights. I, I, I had to cut like eight pounds, eight, eight or nine pounds or some shit. Nothing too crazy, but Holy I was like, shit. all right, fuck. Crazy for someone that doesn't have weight. To yeah, I'm about to say, you don't, like, you don't have I'm anything. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I was, I had like an idea, like ideal, like weight I wanted like the day of, like on Friday. And I wanted to cut like just, just so much. So it would be like nice and natural. Right. And I've bet the weight that I was trying to get to, you know, I've, I've walked around that like before, like bef my first combat night fight, I only cut three pounds because I was somehow so damn skinny. That I only had to cut Dang. three pounds. I was like Somehow, five pounds lighter than I usually was when I'm really skinny. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I can be there again. And I wasn't. I was like four pounds over that. I was like, damn. So I know I put like all these layers of clothes on, a sauna and shit, a sauna suit. And I didn't do like increments of time. I did 30 minutes straight. I did 15. I was like, all right, I think I could do 15 more. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> the last, last 10 minutes were brutal. I was like, I kept watching like the clock. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> and the last like five or so were just like the longest. And then finally, the second I saw it, I toughed it out. I stand up. I think I stood up too fast. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I went to my clothes. Yeah, I went right down, man. But like they were nervous the place I was at, so they kept the door open. Uh, 
at the they were checking up on you yeah they, they freaked the fuck out and they picked me up and they tried to call the ambulance <laughs> oh god you didn't tell me about that part. Yeah. <laughs> good lord they picked me up i honestly did feel like pretty out of it for like the first few minutes like they picked me up i couldn't stand up but i could communicate to them a little bit <laughs> but uh I was really, I was really out of it, but they, they helped me out and stuff. And I got back, you know, two after a few minutes. And then, uh, you know, I can, I talked to like, uh, to Dean and, uh, you know, a couple other people on the phone and, uh, you know, I communicate with them and they knew I was good. And I was like, bro, I'm good. And like, I cut, I weighed myself after, like, after I came back, like, they let me go and weigh myself. Like, I told them I was fine. They were watching me, but I was like, I'm good. Trust me. Like, I know when I'm bad, but I know I'm good. Like, so. You know, I was like, I only cut like four pounds. So I was like halfway through it. I was like, all right, like, I feel like I could do it. Like again, cause now I know how much time it takes to cut just that much, you know, much weight. So now I can maybe do it smarter. So I tried to do it, uh, you know, later on in the evening time at a different place that I did rather than 30 minutes. I did like 10 minutes with a break. I was like, cool. Hell yeah. Okay. Did less clothing on too. I was like, all right, but so that's not a suit. <laughs> I went in the second time. That 10 minutes got a little rough. I'm not going to lie. It's I started feeling it maybe towards the last five. I was like, I'm not going to do uh, three sets of 10 like I wanted to, but it's all good. Tough this one out. I toughed it out. I stood up. I think I got up a little too fast, guys. <laughs> so, so squirrel the world went squirrel the fuck down for a quick second. <laughs> uh, nothing too bad. There was like a stool there, like a bench. So I, like, I knew I was going out, but like I was starting to like – Go a little di- dizzy. Everything's going to blurry. I saw this like, dude on the right of me or left on left of me. I was like, hey, help me out. I was probably slurring my words. I don't know what I said, but he ended up helping me out. You know, did the exact same thing that people did before. Same shit happened. They tried to call the ambulance on me. Again? Yeah, and I'm like, dude, guys, like, I, I came back. They recommended I get an IV. I was like, I already got an appointment to get an IV, like, afterwards. Like, I'm good. Like, you know, I was on weight, I believe, and uh, told him what was going on. And ironically, they just got a call from another guy that was supposed to fight uh or was fighting i don't remember what happened um but another guy that was on the card i guess he uh something happened with him and they they just got the call to go pick him up too so it was just like all these fighters last minute <laughs> <got away. laughs> but you know i was good you know i i jumped in the car i think i was like 128 when i left there yeah and then um so you know i cut a few more pounds of my car with the heat on and stuff and the suit on <laughs> Jesus. Bumping the heat, Bro, dude. Bumping uh, the heat. I don't think that's the best idea. You just fainted like bumping. 15 minutes before. Yeah. What if you faint so I driving? Drank, I had like a bunch of water. When every time I was feeling a little weird, you know, pour, uh, get some air, you know, cold air. <laughs> I felt good. I felt fine about it. And then oh when it wasn't God. that far, so like I did it, you know, and um, everything was good. I made weight and then, um, you know, I rehydrated and shit. But like, yeah, like that's pretty much the whole story. I know you probably didn't want all that, but no, no, I, no, I no that's fine. Sometimes. That's cool. So that was like the whole story. It's I a mean, conversation. So but no one, not a lot of people heard about that. It's it, like, they were pissed. Like some of the people I trained with, like they weren't happy about it. Like we kind of laughed about it, but they're like, you're not going to fucking do that again. Like, no, yeah. I was like, yeah, I know. I didn't yeah. do it right. No, squirrel needs a support staff. He needs to do dumb needs shit a, like that. He needs a meal plan <laughs> and he needs to start cutting weight a little bit earlier than so, so, a couple of days out. Dude, and so and I, let's go ahead and get a driver. Bro, yeah. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. Hell yeah. 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 So let's, dude, let's like I, I went to, uh, one person followed me home after, actually, so they were looking out. Is they, she pregnant? They didn't, they didn't want me to drive, no, but they followed me to make sure. <laughs> I don't really want the baby. But, yeah. uh, all right, so, like, the, the when I was cutting weight for the finishers event, I just used a sauna right next to my buddy's crib that I was staying at um, in downtown Philly. And uh, I scared the fuck out of him. I was trying to get him to help me out and, like, watch me cut weight on. But I definitely probably said the wrong things at first. Like, I should have just been there and be like, hey, man, just, like, check on me, you know, every so often. But what I really yeah, said. Yeah, don't lead with, you know, last time I did this, I fell out twice. That's and, exactly know. what yeah, I did, <laughs> dude. Like, I, <laughs> you don't lead with that. That's so not. I led with that, unfortunately. Yeah. He said driver and a representative. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My buddy was yeah. spooked. My buddy went from wanting to go with me and join me to be like, dude, I don't want it. Anything to do with that, man? No, because, that shit. I mean, what do you oh, walk boy. around at? Like what, one forty? Yeah, no. one forty or okay. below. Yeah, and you need to cut to what? One twenty-five. One twenty-five. Or if uh, you're you can't make weight, you got you got like you know, maybe a pound or two hours, yeah. depending on what they're doing. Yeah, but if you look at you, there's no there's I don't know where the hell you're cutting from. So yeah, but just don't lead with the yeah. Last time I did this, man, I was this close to dying. So I just need you to watch me. Don't do that. 
<laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I, I led with that. I definitely can't do that one again. But I cut weight chilling this time. I did 10 minutes each time, 10-minute increments, and I was only wearing the suit. Uh, and then I took a 10-minute break. And I did another 10 minutes. I think the second time it took like 15 minutes or so, maybe a little bit longer of a break. <clears throat> and then I did like a third 10 minutes in the sauna. Took probably like 20 minutes or above of a break. And, um, you know, I just kept it at that. I think I did like six or seven uh, sessions. And, um, dude, I was on weight that night. I was on weight like Friday night. and the, I didn't have, But I had a weigh-in Saturday morning. Oh god, so, that sucks. But I didn't but the tournament didn't start until like seven PM. So I was like, all right, you know, same day weigh-ins, that's brutal. But like but, if they can do it, maybe float a pound or two overnight, you know, maybe just make it in the morning, weigh in as early as possible, and then you got nine hours or so to rehydrate. Like that's doable. Yeah. And son, that shit was doable. Like I did it. My buddies took me out to this Chinatown bar in downtown Philly and, uh, the night before, you know, and I just cut weight. So I'm like hella drained. I didn't drink any water that night. I was snacking on ice cubes there a little bit, but um, I was hella drained. Yeah, forget the fucking dumplings and the Chinese <laughs> food. Dude, the food looked amazing. Yeah. Everyone's drinking. I don't drink. Those are not good friends. It looked amazing. It looked like a good time. Yeah. I wasn't really like I'm like a probably socially I'm a socially awkward dude when I go out to bars and shit because I'm not I'm not a drunk guy out there. So I'm just kind of looking at people. And I'm just like people watching, and I'm just like man, I should just go home, you know. So yeah. I'm that type of guy. So I was that guy again. Plus I just cut all that weight. Um, but I was trying to have a good time with my buddies, but it was on man. edge. Dude. Man, I weighed in that next morning, man. And I still had like 0.2 pounds. So I rolled with like one of the Bethlehem guy on one of their purple belts. Thor? And, uh, just got, no, no. Oh, okay. Thor's a uh, brown belt, I believe. Oh, he's Thor's a brown. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I rolled one of their purple belts. I forget his name, but just float around and I made way easy and just ate really good. But, uh, the plan of Bethlehem was sick, man. It was really cool. Um, I met Thor right when I was weighing in. Met all their guys. Uh, Gabe, uh, he's he's hella cool. He's uh, I believe he's looking into opening up. I met Thor when he had hair. Who? Thor when he had hair. (laughs) (laughs) He had that 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 big poofy thing that he had. I'm like, (laughs) I see him now. I'm like, man, he looks like a whole different guy. He looks like he can do 155 now. Oh man, yeah, he. He's, he's jacked. Definitely, he's ooh, diesel. Man, he looks like he is a beast. He is a beast. We he, know he's a beast. He's like, like a he's G.I. Skimming. Joe. Like, damn, he's a beast. He won uh, CJJ, right? He won. Yeah, he's combat. Uh, yeah, combat jiu Yeah, champion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, champion. Yeah, man. That's super impressive, man. So you made weight. Made weight. You know, you're hydrated at this point. You, you finally get some food. Made weight. I ate. Didn't get a date. Rap, rap. It's the remix. <laughs> What's that? <next? laughs> what was your follow up question uh, before I started doing that? Don't no, say. no, go ahead. Keep going, bro. <laughs> no, I'm good on that. So, the guys that were there, I saw one that had like a mohawk with dreads. <laughs> yeah, what? fool. That dude's, uh, his name's, I don't know much about him. I guess he's like, his well, name, he goes by Relentless but 74. He- but he was like, really, shout out to Relentless. He was trying to do all these crazy things. And the guy that he was uh, grappling with, he was just like, nah, nah, you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not impressed with all your flashy stuff and ended up beating him. Because I'm like, man, he's he's been on top the whole the whole match. He did. He uh, he was. Mo- I mean, he was probably the more exciting guy to watch, in my opinion, I don't just know, because. Man. Just hear me out for a second. Just because, like, you know, it's flyweights and, like, he has that crazy look to him. And he was just mo- he was doing, like, all this crazy, like, flying stuff. Yeah. But I did see a clip of him. I didn't really watch much of his match. But I saw a clip of him and he did, like, a motion that I just thought was, like, unnecessary. But, I mean, we all kind of do some weird stuff. Like, I look like I was dancing in my first match at first, like, guard right, dancing. Or- but, like... I th- I, stuff yeah, we're just special. getting loose, right? Yeah, yeah. man. I was still warming up yeah. a little bit, dude. That looked fun. It was fun. You know, the other fun. one was like, uh, you know, like when I saw you doing it, I was like, all right, he's having fun. When the other guy was doing his shit, I'm going, why are you doing that? You know, that's, <laughs> you're, you're adding like a bunch of shit to this. Uh, don't get it. <laughs> yeah. So that Dars, man, that, that Dars came quick. Oof. Dude, yeah, I've been I've been yeah, very been working on it lately for a while, and so check this out, man. I I'm sorry if I'm getting anyone off topic, but no, no, like, go ahead. there's no topic. Bro, Jay, go. So J M Holland, dude. Yeah. So when he came here, 
and the Jacks like not too long ago into the seminar, that was something he showed was just like a tad, it's a little detail to a Dars. You know, I've been already doing a lot of guillotines, Marcelatine variations and stuff, and like kind of doing some and some Darces at that point. They've all been kind of flowing together, jab neckties, vice grip, stuff like that. He showed this detail that I loved, and it just felt super strong, and it was stepping over the back. Kind of like he would like a Peruvian. Yeah. And uh, so I've been hitting that ever since he showed me that. That's been like my go to. Go-to. That's been my heel hook. That's so, my, so you're abandoning the heel hooks? I, I mean, they're there, but like, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I just, so basically I, it's your favorite right now. Yeah, I like to pass and like get those chokes or like, you know, I've been definitely liking the top pressure and stuff. You know, I can hang in leg locks, and but I like to use them to pass at this point. You know, but if I can get a leg lock, I'll take a leg lock. But... I've been just doing a lot of passing and I've been trying to work my wrestling ironically. Um, I've been trying to stay on top, man. But the Darces just seem to always be there. So it's just because I've been probably just hunting them so much. You know, I just, that's all I've been like seeing. So I'm trying to like kind of switch it up at this point because I know, I, I know the Dars is there. But yeah, anyway, so sorry. Uh, so Jam Holland shows me this and I told him like the morning of, I was like, dude, like, Oh, man, last time you were in Jacksboro, you showed me this Darius. It was so sick, dude. I've been hitting it. I've been hitting it. Like, everybody with it. Like, everybody. I roll with I hit it. And I might hit it several times if I roll it. And that sounds so cocky. Not everybody, but like a lot of people. Like it's, it works for me. And um, he was like, oh, cool. You know, like, you know. But I hit it. That just ironically was what I landed. And I was so hyped. That's why like the picture or the video, I'm just like, yeah, it looks like I'm saying something. It's like, I, I probably overreacted looking back, but I was really hyped because, you know, leading up to it, I really like, I didn't want to go there and just get squashed. Right. So I was stoked to have a win. You know, I didn't have a coach. You I put had, on a good show, man. I, had, I appreciate it, man. You know, I had Thor coach me, Jam coaching me, Zach was trying to coach me too. You know, so I appreciate that to them or that from them. And, um, but yeah, man, like I found that Dars and, uh, I was really hyped because, like, that wasn't planned, but, like, I was stoked I got it. And I ironically was, like, like telling JM about it. And after I won, I was like, dude, where the – I was like, I even cursed, man, so, so bad. I was like, where the fuck's JM hauling up, JM? Like, I was trying to give him a shout-out as I raised my arm. And I went up to him after. I was like, dude, that was all you, bro. I was, all, you know, I was like – I was just, just really hyped, man. Yeah, and, adrenaline. Yeah, dude. Um, so, yeah, man, I was stoked on that, Darius. Uh, when I was going into it, um, I had I thought I was going up against somebody different, but then like a day before they put out the official brackets, and then I saw it was somebody else, and I looked him up, and I saw he trains at Solid Gym, and then um, trained some really really well known people too, and uh, so I was like okay cool, and then like literally right when they called my name, which my buddy Zach called me Chris Craw Daddy Crawford. Uh, so, so you're no longer the squirrel? No, I'm still a squirrel. Oh, okay. I just have too many squirrely nicknames. And for some reason, <laughs> Crawdaddy has always been around. Even when I skateboarded, man, it's always had someone that mixes that in or crawfish. You know, I've heard it all. You know, but when I told him my little mixtape of playlists, that's or a mixtape of nicknames, I should say. Okay, that was the one he stuck with. But uh, right when I walked out, he was telling me how the guy has got like, really good leg locks and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, shit. But um, well, you got good leg locks too. So, hope to have a decent rep at him. But you know, we played in the leg locks. He literally got me in um, the one where it's like the double grip. I forget what they call that. They have a bunch of names. But uh, the double cobra. A steam lock? Not the steam. It's like a heel hook, but it's like the power heel hook. Maybe some people call it the power heel hook. Power um, bottom heel hook. Yeah, I don't remember. I have no idea. It might not even be the power heel hook. It might be some other heel hook. There's so many little variations and different names. But he's going for it and he's cranking it. And I literally just like, I always like to have fun when I roll and I compete too. Like, you know, yeah, I like to have fun. You ain't got it, bro. You ain't got it. I ain't trying to be a jackass, but it's fun. I like to just, just have fun, you know, fuck it. Even the, the second match, you dominated the whole match. I appreciate it, man. You know, it was great. Um, so, the tournament's done. What are you looking for next? I got a couple of events already lined up, man. I'm going back to uh, Bethlehem in February uh, 23rd. Look, he's, you got a got book. book. Yeah. 23rd. <laughs> <laughs> groceries, and laundry. Groceries, I wish he would get some groceries. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Things not yeah, to yeah, do. Yeah, we'll talk about that cut. one. <laughs> 
But yeah, I'm going to finishers. They're doing so they got me a super fight. They're doing the next finishers is uh February twenty fourth. So who's your super match with? I don't know yet. Is it hasn't it been announced, but Nicky it's uh, Ryan. It's pretty I hope, man. That'd be so awesome. But he'd probably like, who knows, man. I, I would he's hope just I could beat him. Minari. He's beating everybody, man. Yeah. Uh that's cool. Um but they haven't announced it yet, but they told me they'll get me something. So I'm going to fly in there, hang out again. I trained at a lot of gyms and got, like, I met some people. I actually met some You're networking. Some yeah. That's good. Um, so I'm going to do, they're doing, like, an open tournament, EBI rules, sub only the day before. So they got, like, a purple through black belt division. So I'm going to try to do that uh, the day before. Um Dude, if it all works out, like, this is crazy, but I'm going to try to cut the weight again. And I'm going <laughs> to... Let's go here. for three times. I'm going to try to do... <laughs> third time's the charm. I'm going to do... Try to get 125 so I can compete at 125 and 135. You know, rehydrate. So just so I can get okay. a bunch of matches. If not, you know, I'll well, see I where mean, I'm at there. When, but. when you're when you're going that far and you're spending all this money on, on, on travel, why not? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm it at. It makes like, sense, you know. They're away from the fridge, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. Easier. So I'm going to do that. The, the Their finisher is open the February 23rd in Rockaway, New Jersey. Rockaway. And Rockaway. Do the Rockaway. Squirrel back. <laughs> Squirrel. I'm just kidding. That sounds weird, actually. That's the bad That's the bad thing with that nickname. It's like it just – it kind of works against me, unfortunately. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> it's all good. Um, and then, yeah, the next day, February 24th, is uh, finisher sub only. They're doing 145 pounds. I could do that, but I'm going to leave that for the for the other guys. And I'm just going to do a super fight, a little squirrely fight, uh, get my name out there. Um, and then there's not an official date yet, but sometime in March, uh, Combat Night will be back in Jacksonville, and I'm going to have a fight on that. It's okay. Gonna do another, is it going to be another pro card? Yeah, or? yeah pro okay. card with the amateur uh Prelims, as they like to call so it. So you do all the all the video stuff for Combat Night, right? I I, I do not. I no? do a bunch of stuff for myself, and they kind of let me just walk around and uh, okay, and gotcha. I throw some edits together for them, and they kind of take care of me. So um, thank you, Combat Night Mitchell. Appreciate you, buddy. Yeah, Mitchell's a man. Yeah, he's great. That's we got great. some uh, we got some new stuff coming out. Dan is um, spearheading some new stuff. We can talk about later. Yeah, yeah. He tagged me on it too. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I've seen I've seen the polls. But uh, he, he's really intense about that. Just Dan? Get, getting it done. Oh, yeah. Dan is serious about yeah. that right like now. Like, I haven't seen him I'm, I, I like a couple of weeks. I'm thinking he's probably still in a room editing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> probably. He's he's working on his story. It's going to be good, though. He's yeah. He's got some, um, you know, he brings over that, that knowledge from when he was with Activision. And, yeah. and so they're really, really hype on that right now. And then I'm, I'm kind of stoked to get involved with it, too, because – I'm I'm already working with uh, NBC and the Pursuit Channel for oh, nice. Take Her Outdoors, so it's kind of cool to have my foot in the door with the the networks, and that's for that's sure. kind of like the next step they're they're looking for right now. I'm not real sure. We haven't we haven't done a sit down, but I've been doing some networking on their behalf as well down south. Oh, that's nice. So. Hell yeah! So March for you, yeah, and that's gonna be is it gonna be at the Morocco or is it gonna be at Mavericks again? I am Morocco. hoping. And assuming it's going to be at the Morocco, because I don't know pro- if they're doing anything at Mavericks anymore. Yeah, I don't why? Think so. They're well, bigger. I think that they, uh, huh? I think that they've grown. They've outgrown it. Now. Oh, okay. well, that. But I think something with the lease with the Mavericks oh, really? and the landing. I heard mm. that too. Yeah. yeah, they were behind on their payments. Oh, so oh, damn. so Mavericks is yeah. why are you putting oh, their business out there like damn. that? Man, because I see it in the line. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. on Facebook. Public, no. public knowledge. Yeah. Like, that's my spot, man. man unfortunately, the whole the whole landing thing down there has just kind of turned into it's, a real shit I, show. It's right? unfortunate because yeah. it's such a great spot, man. Yeah, it's, like it's just been it's it just used been to be. Run. Yeah. <laughs> No, well, now you play video games. So you I get saw shot. like three presidents Dang. there, man. Like, <laughs> oh. Yeah, it, it's it's. It used to be. I remember when it first. <laughs> That's right. That guy got shot. It's yeah, so the dog. ES. What was it? EA game. They were yeah. playing yeah. video games. Yeah, they were had. A, they had a Madden tournament. And they Dude, had, uh, three guys. Dude got super pissed. Listen, uh, guys, we're not laughing at you guys. We're laughing yeah, we're with you. No, we're, we're 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 just you know. Saying how how fucked up it is, we're laughing at how fucked up it is. Yeah, yeah that not, one, not at this actual situation. That one. Got so direct or, direct or your hate mail somewhere else. Yeah, <laughs> please. Yeah, if you can't laugh, then yeah, fuck I, off. I mean, it used to be kept up really nice. Now, like right oh, it's now, a like, now, like 
the lights that say Jacksonville Landing, it only says like Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know like the food court, I think, closed down. Like, what? There's, that was, that was a you can get some bourbon Static, chicken. Man. There. Thanks, There's That's the big easy. It's like yeah. the only thing yeah, left. Yeah, they got the corner static, booth. Bro. Oh, man. My God. It's unfortunate, man. Chicago Pizza, I'm assuming that they closed because they were the ones hosting. Uh, no, no, they, I no, think they, they didn't. closed that section. They, they closed that section because they oh. didn't have the permits for that section. Because the bathroom's mm. right there. You have to go through that little video place to get to the bathroom. I've only been there so I wonder twice. how they did that. So man, I've seen so many fighters like the like day of a fight like in that nasty ass bathroom, <laughs> barefoot, like taking, <laughs> taking their like ninth piss before they go out there. It's like woo! All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, they got all sorts of shit all over. They're walking in mud, and they're bringing that shit into the cave. Oh, yeah, oh, oh Lord. So good. Somebody's getting grounded and pounded <laughs> on some <laughs> poo poo hands. Ah, oh, teeped man. in the face or peed <laughs> in the face. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh. See, I'm sorry. That just tells me that just tells me something about your character that you're just not a good person. Bro, you walk into you, you a, see a that Naga bear. tournaments too, oh, it's so and then you're not a good person. Bro, Fuck out of here. Got to keep your feet so, clean. There yeah. was somebody. I'm not gonna call him out, but there was somebody on the card, uh, this combat night card, and Big Mike. No. <laughs> no, Big Mike's the man. Big Mike is the I'm man. Shout out Mike. to Big Mike. That was the most epic like walkout I've ever seen in person. And he had his whole crowd, his whole crew cheering him on. It Bro, was epic, man. He I always was, does. Really? I was so yeah. That's the first time I've ever seen him. Before. From the beginning, of when when, he com- was serious. When, when Josh was doing the combat night and he was coming out in the suits and he had the short hair, Big Mike's always had the crew with him. Hell yeah. yeah. I mean, he, he, he sent a guy to the hospital. <laughs> this yeah. is when, when. I was uh, on a stretcher. Yeah. What? Uh, yeah, you didn't see it? The, the, that, that guy, guy he it. fought went out. Oh, no, no, no. I'm talking about Big Mike. Sent, uh, he hit somebody and, you know, sent him to the hospital. Damn. Mm. That, that's when he was at uh, Aqua oh. on Beach uh, Boulevard. And that place on Back in shut, the day, day. Yeah. That place shut Where? down too, Palm I think. Beach Boulevard? Yeah, there was a there was a club there called Aqua. They had okay. fights there. That was the that was the hood spot. For yep. Yeah, for real. Yeah. I was like, it was man, like- why did y'all invite me to this? It's crazy. <laughs> that was the spot that as soon as the fights were done, you're like, let's go, let's go. Right, let's we go. gotta yep. get out of let's, here. Let's get in the car. Let's get in the car. Let's get in the car right now. Phillips let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. But, but yeah, anyway. there was um there was this dude that at combat night that like. Acknowledge it too. He didn't have to acknowledge it because you could smell it. He didn't shower for probably like three or four oh. days. He smelled like like three or four days to some people doesn't sound like a lot, but like I guess <laughs> what? You're like a day. That's a lot. Gross. And he smelled so bad, like uh, it was it was horrible. Like he didn't have to say anything, but like. I just can't imagine. I guess he knew the guy he was gonna fight was like more, maybe more of like a wrestler, or grappler. He was hoping he was gonna tap him, but so the that smell. was his, his game plan. Like, like I'm just gonna like, smell like shit. It takes a big bite out of an onion. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's so horrible. Like I couldn't stand by him. I couldn't. I couldn't. I had to cover my mouth. I'm gonna rub cheese on <gasps> me and it was shit. Bad. <laughs> Garlic I and onion. I can stand stuff and not say anything, but <laughs> it was bad. Dude, uh, he ended up losing though. Ironically. Um, guy was well, like, dude, you, you smell so that? bad. I, I gotta beat the shit out of you. If they Get this stuff, <laughs> dude. I hate. But it is a good game plan. I know other pro- big names have done that stuff. Rub yeah, like the Gracie's rubbed onions. Yeah, yeah. And- yeah. Luckily, man, everybody that we train with now, everybody's like Ooh. super clean. It's good. Yeah, we yeah. It just because you know be you've always. It seems like you've always got Ooh. that one guy. The stinky guy. guy. That one guy. There's always that guy. Yeah, who just never washes their shit. They do several classes back to back, man. And there's like. Just it's like, bro, have you heard of water and soap? You're like still wet. Oh, yeah, yeah the clothes. It's you're like fresh, fresh and they're like soaking wet. The day. <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck in them. Dude, the worst. Your head, ask questions. The worst is like, the, <laughs> what, are the, what were we calling that? What were they calling a beef stew? Oh. oh. Julian's like, yeah, they call that the beef stew. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that dude that wears sandals all fucking day, and then you come into class, oh, hey, we're going to start drilling, you know, heel hooks today. Come I don't on. know who like, you're talking oh, about fuck at all. that. I'm not drilling that with you. Cheese grates aroma. Listen, oh. we, we had a guy in Orange Park. I'm, I'm not going to name him. Oh. But he used to smell like flat out shit. I know. Who are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's bad that that's the person I thought of when this topic got brought up. Like, hey, that's, that's who we use. <laughs> hey. That's the benchmark. That's the benchmark we use yeah. with everybody. It's like, hey, so, don't be this guy. Yeah, don't be that guy. Yeah. <laughs> and if you might be a little bit smelly, you know, but not quite as bad, you're tolerable at that point. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, that guy was 
bad. I'm fine. Ooh. I'm fine with like, okay, you smell like sweat because we've been working. You know, everybody's got a little a little different odor to them when they get really sweaty. Oh, but man. I at least expect you to be able to wipe your ass. You're a grown man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's oh, no excuse for that. I didn't have any Dude. tissue. I, I don't <laughs> care. Get a fucking get a pine cone. <laughs> But yeah, but that's that's our benchmark. That's who we use. <laughs> Very smelly. Yeah, that's setting the bar Very high. Smelly. Oh car, yeah, car air freshener. Put it on your outfits. Oh man, something Shit. like that. At Anything. Least. Yeah, but that would do something. And the thing is, is you know, he was told. You know, it, it, it had been mentioned to him several times. Yeah, this is how you wash your clothes. Yeah, and it just was Take like a shower. just went over the head. He never quite got. It. He's like, oh, they're not talking about me. It can't be me. No, motherfucker, we are talking. To you. We used your name. We said, hey, so-and-so, you smell like shit. <laughs> oh, man. It's bad. Yeah, that was, you don't want to be that guy. No, don't be that guy. Oh, I was going to say something, but I won't because they doesn't really know. What was that? Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> nope. You roll with him and what? No. It's what he's doing now. Oh, they're gonna, yeah, yeah. They're going to roast him a hell of a lot worse than we can. That that is true, but whatever. Yeah, last time I saw that gentleman, nothing has changed. <laughs> yeah. And by that I mean his underwear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, color color me surprised. Oh man, oh, it's I don't want to tell right. what color that is. You know, uh, same ones he's been surprised. wearing for the last two months. <laughs> so gross. Jesus, that's disgusting. Yeah, but we're really Ooh. clean. Oh man, we really? try to be. Good lord. Good man. gracious. Did I have like a whole like I, I take a shower great. before gym. Yeah, like I get off work, I got a whole routine. I get off work, I take my shower, I go get my kids, and all that. Because I've got the time to do that, and it's the gentleman thing to do. You're getting ready to go and grapple and shit. Yeah, you got to be a little courteous. You got to brush yeah. your teeth too, man. I yeah. Oh, that's that, like that's to me that's the worst. Body odor is not so bad, but when someone's breathing in your face, you're like, come on. Yeah, it's like hot. <laughs> Hot that's garbage. This, that's this hot garbage coming out your mouth, bro. Stop it. So, where do you train at? Oh, me. I uh, I was in the Marine Corps. And uh, I don't like touching people anymore. So <laughs> part of it, part of it is that cleanliness thing. And yeah. I'm, 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 you know, I have attention to detail when I get in the shower. And some people are just they get wet. So I, uh, oh, or they, one of they don't know how that? to clean their clothes. They'll they'll get clean, I guess, yeah. and put old dirty clothes on, and then they'll come wrestle or I don't know. I just I, I don't like injuries yeah. anymore. So I don't really have anything to prove on that level. So Dude, you sound like me, even though I I'm still good. do it. I'm like. I got other stuff I could I'm, be doing. I'm sure that when when my ankle, I've got two screws that need to come out of this left ankle. So when when that happens, um, and I get healthy from that, then uh, you you guys could possibly see me rolling. But it, it would probably be with my crew, like Jules and Eric, my roommates, people you just know. people that can flow roll. Because I'm yeah. not I'm not trying to like break any white belts in or any blue belts like that. I'm I'm good. Oh, you don't want to deal with the spaz no more. No, nah, man. So no. then you I tell you what, the, the, them, them white belts, those are the most dangerous motherfuckers yeah, out there. Man. Yeah. They're scary. They're yeah, spastic, they and they got something to prove. You yeah. know, like especially good, us, good big, for them, us big white belts, because yeah, we just man, we just don't know. Bigger. We just <laughs> don't know. <laughs> hey, me. I mean, shit. I rolled with Squirrel a few times. I'm fucking just lay on them. Be like, I'm just gonna, I'm good right here. <laughs> oh man, I don't remember that. We gotta get you guys over to the house sometime. <laughs> Yeah, we had fun on that one. We've had fun a couple times. Oh yeah, it's been you fucking too long, spun though. spun me over and got my got my leg, fucked me up. Oh man, <laughs> it's been too long, man. It has, bro. Even the dirty guy with the bat on the word does that to you. <laughs> no, no, he didn't. <laughs> that was the thing. Me and him rolled, and I like what? Did I, oh, I comored the shit out of him because he wouldn't tap to it. So I just literally kept going. The shit out of yeah, him. literally the shit. And ever since then, <laughs> like we, when it would come time, he would he wouldn't ever go with me again. And I was like. Because we're like the same size. It's like, yeah, it's kind of, uh. let's go. Nah, I'm good. Like, come on, bro. Because you tapped me fucking many times. I tapped yeah. you once, and now you're like, nah, I'm good. Like, like shit come on. And I mean, yeah, he's doing me a favor. I appreciate it. You know, cool, thank you. But, you know, fuck, who else am I going to roll with? I, I late, Lately, I've been picking my battles, too. You know, it's you like, got to, man. I, I, I see, I see the way Sometimes. some people roll, and I'm like, I don't want to get hurt today. I think I'm going to go with Dean. I know he's going to beat me up. Do you guys prefer like no gi or gi? Yeah, I, I no prefer gi. no gi. Yeah, they yeah. like they like no gi. I, I no, no gi is okay, but I enjoy gi because gi, gi can kind of slow things down a little. That's bit. That's why I like it. A little less injuries. Yeah, you know? that's what How I did like. I go that's last time I we like rolled? It. Oh, it didn't go well at all. <laughs> <laughs> I slowed myself right down to death multiple I just, times. <laughs> in the choke. Yeah. I, just, I just grabbed them and I just like 
Oh, dude, he struck it up power and pulled him back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, no, I can't let you on top of me. Yeah. I saw a sick variation of a twister uh, recently oh, with man. the gi on. I think it was nasty. Mm. It is. It looks so damn brutal. Well, I mean, you have more more grip. Yeah. You know, yeah. He's like choking the... the dude with like his, like, I don't know what you should call that. He, he pulled like. Call that? Lapel? This, this, Lapel? Well, yeah. it was like the so bottom weird. of his gi, oh, and then okay. he like pulls his leg around his head and like oh, chokes yeah. him with ah. his leg. It was nasty. You see that? Yeah, I've, I've seen I've seen that one. I've seen a couple other variants. Julian's <laughs> listening. He's probably like, "It's called this." <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot! <laughs> yeah. It's like I showed you the video. Oh man! Oh man! Shout out to the the House of Pain. Yeah, I like Gee just just because I can. You know, because you know, like when I rolled with Squirrel. You know, I'm big, so I'm slower. He's lightning fast, and I'm having a hard time. Same with Wallow. Wallow's yeah, fucking fast. I'm not fast. Yeah, well, I'm not fast at all. I just don't want you on top of me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like everything's moving so quick. I'm just like, fuck, I, there's no way for me to just slow this down. With the gi, I could just go ahead and grab your collar. I can hunker you down. And I can sit there for a second. Right, that time go, out for yeah, a second. Go, Let me think about what I want to do here while you're struggling to get out. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm, I'm good. I've got, I've got good, strong grip here. Let's chill out, you know? Let's Relax. do something. Relax. Relax. Maybe uh, think of a nice poem. Say it to yourself. Yeah. Close your eyes. Yeah. Let's yeah. think about this. But I still do the no geats sometimes, too. It's, it's all fun. Yeah. It's all, to me, man, I, I'm one of those where jujitsu is jujitsu. You know? Jujitsu is amazing. I, 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 how do I put it without sounding bad? You don't like gi. I know you don't. No, no, no. I, I, it's not that I don't like it. It's like, I like jujitsu. I'm just It's not, so much more complex. It's just like a lot of people are so much in love with it and I'm like, He's man, not I'm not motivated. Yeah, I'm not motivated right now. He's well, not I mean, we all got, you know, there's a lot of shit we all do, Definitely. you know, outside of stuff, you know. So it's hard to like dedicate really as much time. Like as it's you. not my life, you know. Yeah. Yeah, like it's But I still my, like it. I still like it. I enjoy it when I go do just, it. Don't judge me, you know. Don't I don't judge don't, you. Don't, no. don't look at me with those judging eyes. No. It's no. Like, no. Squirrel the, Squirrel's been living, <laughs> eating, like, breathing it for the last ever since I've known him. Yeah. <laughs> it's just been like literally I picked him up from the airport a couple of years ago because nobody else would come and get him. And I was like, <laughs> dude, I got you. I just swoop over, gets in the truck with me, and immediately like opens up the notepad and starts going over all the shit he learned over in LA. Like, dude, dude check this out, check this out. How was your flight? It was good. But man, <laughs> check this out. You could go from here to there. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. This is all he fucking breathes. Dude, every it has time worked I've out been for you though. There, man. I've been just hitting so many classes. Like I still try to spend time with my family. Try to get stuff, more into the mic. I still try to spend time with my family. How is your mom? Because I know that, uh, you know, she's down there in uh, South Florida. She's in Bradenton now. Uh, She's good. I just saw her for Thanksgiving. I'm going to go back in like a week or so probably for Christmas. Um, Every time I go over there, I train uh, with uh, Josh the dude and uh, his guys. Um, Normally he's dropping like open mat or something. Uh, Gage? What is it? Gage Griffin. He doesn't really train there too much anymore. Oh, okay. I don't believe. Um, But I do try to get some training in with him and stuff and whoever else is around. He's a little bigger than you, isn't he? Gage? Not really. Not really. Okay. I think he technically weighs more than me, but his I think body size is not much. Yeah, no, okay. no. I think ah, that's weird. Yeah, it's strange. Because that's the problem. Like, there's you know, like at our gym, there's not. There again, it's the same thing the way OP used to be. There's not a lot of little guys. Yeah, it's always it, been the problem. It's always big guys, and I know that's got to be the problem for you, because you know you're like walking in at buck forty, soaking wet. And you're like, yeah, what a roll, and you got all those two fifty, two three hundreds going. Come on. Yeah. Absolute all day, every day. Let's roll. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of the bigger guys, obviously, you know, at 250. And two, <laughs> two, 250 <laughs> ish. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes I don't even want to roll with the little guys either. I'm like, you know what? Excuse Not me. today. I appreciate that. Why? Yeah, you you haven't even been at the gym in months. Oh. I actually went on Super Thursday. Huh. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Liar. I just wasn't in the picture. Liar. Oh, okay. Liar. Liar. You can ask Art. <laughs> Liar. He's going to lie. Yeah, he'll lie. He'll lie for you. He'll take up for you. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) It's always me and Wallow against y'all, so he'll take up for you. Okay. So you did in uh, what Wednesday? No, Thursday. Thursday. Oh, okay. I thought you'd be going for gi on Wednesday. I have been going for gi on Wednesday, just not there. Oh. (laughs) I found you know I'm sure I told Art you know I'm going to cross train because there's a school with smaller people that I can actually train with and not sit on the side like looking at all the big people going. Crayon. He said he's cool with it. <laughs> Crayon. 
hey, I gotta do something. <laughs> I gotta do what I gotta do to be able to train. You know, I'm so you're to training my... with some girls. Yeah, there's a couple girls there, and there's some smaller guys there that are less than me. Like, uh, that, I'm sorry, what? They weigh less oh, than okay. me. Yeah, you should, you what? should, you should use that word before you say less. I, than they me. weigh. There you go. They're less yeah. than me. Yeah, They're right. Less They're than way me. less than me. <laughs> That's all I heard. Me. What are you weighing now? Huh? What are you weighing now? One fifty. That's my reaction Bro, to that. <laughs> listen, do you ever listen to the podcast? Sometimes, yeah. They harass this is all the way all the time. Yeah. yeah. I love calling in. I'm like, yo, <laughs> I'm just taking a piss right now. What's up, guys? Uh, You're like, you gotta edit this. You yeah. gotta edit this now. Yeah, Thanks, let, me, just, let me hang up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my confidence back right now. I've had injuries and surgeries and just a lot of shit going on and I was feeling a little demoralized in my training and my progress, so I'm trying to get back in it. So I talked to Art about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, ultimately, you got to yeah. do what's best for you. True. True. I mean, well, and it's it nice to have the the higher ranking belts because they have a lot more control, um, and I get hurt a lot, so it's it's frustrating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's because you don't have any gluten in your diet. Exactly. <laughs> the gluten holds all your joints together. Scientifically. I got a good new South Park about the gluten. Y'all seen that? I no, or if you not. eat too much gluten, your wiener falls off. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a lie. I can't, I can't, exactly. I can't take to that. I'm I way saw, past that then. Yeah, I, I well, yours already fell off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I ain't nothing but gluten. <laughs> Give me gluten. You with guys my gotta gluten. check it out. It's like the best episode ever. They make fun of the gluten free people. It's awesome. Man, I haven't I haven't watched <laughs> South Park in years. Well, we make fun of her. Like literally, we'll fuck with her about her food because she got a pizza one. Oh, oh my god, oh, that pizza sounds horrible. horrible. Dude, it right. was literally fucking cardboard with some pepperoni <laughs> on it. <laughs> and I like she was like so she was like here try this. They always <laughs> look really good too. They look. Yeah, good. Like, yeah. oh, that's a thin crust pizza. This is, a, a I think, a Papa pizza. John's pizza from yeah. your by your house. Oh. Yeah, it looked decent. I was like, oh, oh no, that one taste. tasted. Took bad. a bite of it immediately. <laughs> oh god, this is horrible. I you didn't know. finish it. It was. We've gross. gotten some good pizza from this one place. Where you're oh yeah, they got yeah. Five star pizza eight, has five like this crazy it deal. You haven't I gotten the, the text Club. message. Uh uh-uh, uh well. Oh man, five star pizza. They were doing you'll get a free pizza. Free what's. Small or medium pizza, and then like if you upgrade, it's only like a dollar. It's like sorry, so something. it's like a free small pizza, one topping, or oh, there it is. three bucks for a large pizza. Okay, one now topping. is it any good or, or it's no? It's it's solid, very good. Where are yeah. they at? Because I'm a pizza Bluff. Saint John's Bluff, Saint John's Bluff, Bluff and beach, and like, yeah, beach, right there where that uh, uh, Johnny Angels is. Okay, yeah, right there in that same that same shopping center, and the pizza's great, and it's just they're quick about it. They'll bring it to your house. Yeah, they're really good. But no. it, you can get like friends' names and do the deal. <laughs> that would spoil it. Now they're gonna take. They don't know about their name. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's all legal. They're just they they may may not want pizza. So find someone that's you know gluten free and say, hey, can I borrow your name? <laughs> right. Because <laughs> you're never gonna eat here. Then upgrade. I actually it. had pizza last night. Yes, <laughs> we've been Papa on a John's. faux tear. Yeah, to, oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, we've been on a faux yeah. like, no, no. like it's not anybody's business. Yeah. Like, we've been trying places around town. I got a little recipe. I'm getting ready to bust out my Instant Listen. Pot for some faux. I I, love uh, I, I I love pizza. Like, I could eat pizza every day. <laughs> That's right, dog. Ditto. But, but it jacks my stomach up. But, yeah. uh, you know, it's like around here, there's, eh, it's okay. I mean, Karma you seen Five Points is pretty good. You need to go there. You need to go I to Moon try River. that out. Never heard of that. Karma's. Moon River's Carmine's. really good. Karma. Oh, I've had Karma's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They got some big slices. And so, uh, what, which one, what, what do you Moon, call it? Moon River. I have not done Moon that. River. Moon Where's River's that? good. That's five. It's uh, Riverside. Hmm. Moon River. That's good. Uh, that's my, that pizza is my go to spot. Like, if, if we're going to go and eat pizza, like, this is what we're doing tonight. We're not going to do delivery. We're actually gonna have to go somewhere. Yeah, nice. I'll go down to Moon River. We gotta check that out. Moon River's really good. Get the white. If you do, you like a white pizza? I mean, I'm not racist or anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, their their white is really good. Uh, I mean, all their all their slices are really I'm, good. I'm pretty but. much a pepperoni guy. All right, you know, I'm pretty simple. Now we got one that's up the road here. Uh, it's called Stoner's Pizza. Hell yeah! Oh, okay. now, Perfect for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the problem is their pizza's really good, but they're slow as fuck. So I think it just kind of <laughs> it just kind of coincides. It'll literally take an hour to get. Do a they pizza. serve drinks? No, no. no. Alcohol? You can order them, but they'll Damn. forget about them. Yeah, <laughs> Stoner Pizza. Like we weren't lying. It, it's I one of those things where skip, it, it, the funny. pizza's good enough where I'll deal with it. Where I've I've had to call back like twice and go, hey, you know, it's been like. 
45 to an hour. Oh, yeah. Are y'all coming? Pizza. We forgot about it. They were bro. like, oh man, yeah, no, we're we're walking out the door right now. I'm like, you lying <laughs> motherfucker. But that's fine. Bring me my good pizza. <laughs> They'll go next door to Domino's and grab one and be like, Mm-mm. It's your pizza. No, oh. now nah, see, like Dad, he's he's having a big issue where he's at because there's two spe- pizza spots next to him or near him. One of them has amazing toppings. It's absolutely like the best toppings pizza you could have. But the crust sucks. The crust is absolute dog oh, shit. So you gotta have Damn. good bread. That's what That's makes the, the pizza. It's like exactly. sandwiches. Yeah. We were discussing like sandwich people getting like the bread scooped out. Like oh, what? What? what the? Yeah. People what? Do that. that is insane. Just order yeah. meat. Yeah. Well, and then the spot that's literally two miles away that he gets pizza at has got the most amazing crust you've ever had. But the toppings Ooh. The suck. toppings are garbage. Oh, man. We <laughs> so I'm like, the two. that's what I told him. I was like, what you need to do is you just, you need to go and get the bread from there. Have them just make you, just cook me a piece just of dough. Just cook the dough. Just cook the dough. And then you just <laughs> take that. You take it to your other spot and go, here, top this out for me. Bro, your and dad throw is, it in your oven. Your dad is rich. He could buy, buy both franchises and... Throw the toppings away from one and just take the crust. Well, it was, it's so bad, like, because the place with the really good crust, you know, he ordered a, um, a mushroom and something pizza, and you could tell, oh, like, man. the mushrooms <clears throat> came out the can. <clears throat> they were, like, straight out <clears throat> canned mushrooms. And he was like, this sucks. But the bread's great. So, what those even cook? Like, sounds, they be, like, mush. Mm-hmm. Sounds like fucking Del Taco. <laughs> oh, yeah, from California. That's <laughs> like horrible. The worst, that's, like, the worst place ever. I was like, man, when I first moved out there, when I was in the Marine Corps, I got stationed in San Diego, and Del Taco was one of the first places I saw, and I was thinking... Good tacos. Dude, this is this looks like a better than Taco Bell, Bell place, right? Yeah, right. Bro, not what, so, not I so could much. do better at Walmart <laughs> with like in North Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I went to Del Taco, which was open around here for maybe like a month. Yeah, it did literally last. like a month. I ordered the 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 fish tacos. And there were fish sticks. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Oh, On a fucking <laughs> tortilla <laughs> with brown guacamole. Like perfectly square. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I took it by and I'm like, Kanye West. No, that's a Kanye West. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> fish sticks. I don't like gay fish. No, that's I'm not, not a gay fish. I'd be like, this has got to be a fucking joke. You put a fish stick in a taco. Get the fuck out of here. It was fucking disgusting. Dude. Now, have you done Chewy's yet for Mexican food? Chewy's. Uh, that Chewy's. Sound That's that new joint. It's that new joint over it's in the town sounds center. Sounds pricey to me. Next to Cheddar's, yeah, and Red but, Robin, yeah. and all Why the new chewy? fancy it's just joints. It's a college place. That's the way it's always... They've, they've got locations up in Atlanta and Tallahassee. Yeah. And the, it's like Tex-Mex, it. right? Like, yeah, it's a Tex-Mex. And, oh, it's, I it's love it. Good. It's like Chevy's kind of, I think, yes. right? Yeah. Yep. We had one of those once, I think, over on Wells. Yeah, if you like a little... If you like a good spicy Tex-Mex, it's the spot. So there, there's no I'm real, hungry. real. I'm hungry. I think we're all hungry. We've been talking <laughs> yeah, about. I, I am hungry too. I haven't really eaten today. I'm hungry. <laughs> we should now, go get tacos. Hold on, oh, hold on. I got I'm a question for you. Tacos. So oh, yeah. since you haven't really, you haven't been super motivated training. Yeah. You haven't really been doing much. So I know you haven't been super sticking to your diet. Have you went? <laughs> Is that obvious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you went and had your fucking fried chicken yet? No. Mm. God damn it. Where? Chicken. He's been craving fucking KFC <laughs> fried chicken for literally Ori- two months. Original recipe. Literally, every there time, you, you know, everybody leaves, we're sitting up Get here editing. Special. He'll be sitting here editing and be like, man, I really want some fucking chicken from KFC. Original <laughs> recipe. I was like, yeah, 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 I know. You said that last weekend. Go get some fucking chicken. Nah, I can't. There's the none fucker? on the way home? Not really. No, uh, there's one off of uh, Merrill, Monument, so. I think, or Merrill. Merrill, right Merrill. there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I, I'm more of a Popeyes guy. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, spicy chicken, red beans, yeah. and or, rice, or with, with, with like white my, rice and I have beans? a roommate that tears up some Publix chicken. Is man. it this guy? Oh, that's uh, me. Kind of. Julian, Julian, you know oh, Julian. Okay. Julian loves some Popeyes. Uh, not Popeyes, but but uh, chicken from. We get the rotisserie sometimes. Too. Yeah. Yep. Those things are amazing. Yep. Eat a whole chicken yourself. I'll sit up there and go and get the wings. I've been disappointed in the wings lately. I have been too. Like, they're not the best, but the the rotisseries, you can't beat those things. Yeah, I got one of those last because I had to make some chicken stock. So I was like, yeah, I'm just going to go grab a rotisserie, just split it out. I still got shredded chicken in the fucking fridge for last weekend when we made it. But, uh, but no, I can go and grab one of those, the little boxes of chicken wings from Publix up here. And I've, I've literally got to separate it out. And then go ahead and put it in the fridge. 
Because if not, I will literally sit there. Eat all of them. Eat all of them. Not realize it. Be like, fuck, I just ate that whole thing of chicken wings. <laughs> I've been doing that lately, too. I don't know why. The whole chicken That's why you wait. I want to do that shit now. And then I'll get that some avocado. Awesome. Right. And I just sit there and eat the whole thing. What are we eating? What are we eating? What did you say? I, like, I, honestly, <laughs> I said, I, wanna go get I said oh, that's why you weigh 150. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> what the hell? I'm just Fucking fried chicken and avocado? <laughs> yeah. Fried chicken oh. No, avocado, not fried chicken. Huh? Just a rotisserie. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Fried okay. avocado. I've seen some people eat that. I have never heard of that. I'd eat it. Uh, I've heard I mean, that. I it's like fries. They make like a fry with it. Oh, oh, and okay. they fry it. I don't okay. know, man. You're taking the, the healthy fats out of the avocado and replacing it with some shit. Well, I mean, nah, since the fat guy, yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, I wouldn't. I mean, they fry fucking Twinkies and shit like that. So of course, they those can are fry. probably delicious. Fried I've never Oreo, had fried one. Oreos are fire. They yeah. have fried Oreos at the fair. I have had that before. I've never had. I haven't it. had a fried. I'm Twinkie. scared to go to the fair. I've seen, like fried Snickers. I'm scared to go to the fair now. They've been fucking up a lot. That's well, what I'm saying I'm scared to go to the fair. Look, if you go to the fair and you're shocked you that got- a fucking ride falls apart, <laughs> oh man, you're. You're going to the I wrong thing. I've never been to the fair here. It, you're not missing much. Yeah, like, nah. It's, it, I'm scared of like super rednecks. So. <laughs> well, well, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, if if you wanted to experience a fair, you go down the Clay County has say, a Clay fair. Clay County looks nice. The Clay County fair is actually really good, but you are gonna have the country boys, country yeah, folk, but yeah. they're not bad. Jacksonville fair. It's it's been a shit show for fucking a decade. It Didn't really it, has. Was there like a shooting at the fair? Yeah. Like Which year? Jeez. I mean, pick a year. Yeah. That's <laughs> bro. That's I mean, every every Yeah. The uh, last the last time I went to a fair, down. the we were standing in we were standing in line for something, and a buddy of mine was behind me, just out of the blue. Got fucking stabbed, like right in the back. Man, oh my just God. you know, just somebody walked by Who and just stabs fucking people randomly. Jacksonville Fair, bro. What? Duval. I mean, literally, we're standing there. Somebody walked by and just fucking juked him right in the back. You know, luckily it was a small blade, but you know, yeah, and it didn't get his kidney or anything like that. Dude, but it's he like kidney right there. Yeah, he like spins around. He's like, "What the fuck?" And he's like, "I'm bleeding." And we like check his back. Like, Bro, you got stabbed. But I mean, it's a huge crowd, and it's like, yeah. "What the fuck's going on?" So I'm too old for this shit. Well, I got fuck kids that, and man. shit That's now, so home, it's like, man. if I yeah. do go to the Jacksonville Fair, I You're I will go. So much money. No, 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 no. I go Sunday morning. And like around nine when they yeah, open. When they open, and we literally <laughs> we just go and check out the animals. You know, let the kids check out the animals, maybe play a couple games, and then we're done. That's right. They do the equestrian yeah. stuff, huh? Yeah, because yeah. my kids like that shit. But I'm not, I'm not doing like the Friday Night Madness shit like I used to when I was younger. That shit's for the birds. Fuck yeah. that. Nah, man, I'm chilling at home. Shit. Exactly. If I have to drive more than twenty minutes anywhere, I, I really don't want to go anymore. You know, it's like. If I want to watch the fights, I chill on my couch and watch the fights. If I want to stay Bruh. home, I'll just chill, play Listen, some fucking video games. I got this projector at home. Oh, dude, he showed me a setup. It's pretty dope. I put a projector in my room. It's 106 inches on the wall. I'm like, why the fuck am I going to go anywhere when I can watch anything I want in here? <laughs> and you 106 know? inches. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. In my room. On my bed. Yeah. You know? I'm lazy. I'm loving life now. Yeah. He's got a water bed. Yeah, little baby yeah. oil How slide around. How do you know? Yeah. <laughs> you don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Wink. Uh, yeah, wink, wink, wink. I'm just kidding. Hope she's not pregnant. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Before we go, before uh, we say our goodbyes, any sponsors you want to shout out? Get your book out. Yeah. Man, Get, your book right. out. Get your book out. All right. Get your book out. What are you looking at me for? All right. Uh, you need me to talk? No, you Man. go first. All right. All right. So, obviously, shouting out the training yard. Shout out to Dean Grant. Yeah, yeah. B- B- Yoda. Oh, yeah. Shout out to uh, uh, Matt Vanna. I'll also go out on limb and shout out uh, Bulldog Boxing, technically, because that's his... Uh, his brand. Uh, that's him. Yes, sir. Um, Cruise Combat. They've been helping me out with my fight gear, and uh, they're going to hopefully uh, put me on as uh, one of their uh, brand ambassadors. Uh-oh, the squirrel so, stepping up in the world. State of oh, yeah. Florida. Very nice. Uh, Fractal BJJ for keeping me all soaked up and clean and sending me some shirts and showing me love. They clean you too? Node host for uh, housing me and uh, supporting me when I was out in Philadelphia. Uh, locker room talk. Yeah, yeah. Motherfuckers. Drone Hustler. Yeah. If y'all need any video support or marketing techniques or a little funnel action, holler at me. Holler at your boy. He's the man. Josh Simon Foundation. 
They're helping me out. Um, I, I support them 100%. I like what they do. Combat Night uh, for letting me fight for them and showing me love and helping me out, um, keeping me going. Dab Earth, they uh, it's one of my buddies' companies, South Florida. I'm not too familiar with them, honestly. Um, but they constantly show me but love. But they send me some dab. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, Gray Wolf, Acupuncture, check them out. They're uh, oh. Jacksonville local. Um, yeah, the wolf, they support the squirrel. Nice. Uh, cryotherapy jacks may have passed out there, but <laughs> 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 spoiler, I told you. All right. Squirrel alert. No, they, uh, they, they're really fucking nice. Excuse my language. They, they're really nice. I love that place. Um, float the idea. So I think that's their full name. Um, but I checked them out like a week before my fight and I did a float. Tank uh, that Mitchell recommended. I want to do that. It was uh, amazing. Awesome. It's nice, ain't um, it? I did ninety minutes and I got the best sleep I've ever had for the next like two days after. And I honestly just keep thinking back of like when I was in there, and I just feel like I need to do it again. Like it was just, a, it was really nice. Um, so uh, they were super stoked on what I was doing, and um, so I'm shouting them out. I show I show them some support, and they show me some support. So I appreciate them. Cool. Uh, last but not least, or a few more, unfortunately. No, go ahead. No, go ahead, brother. Eric Bell Designs. He's the man. He's been showing me some love for a while now. Um, and I met him back in like May, back at Sapateria. Um, if I'm even saying that correctly, like, I always botch that word. Sapateria, yeah, you're good. Yeah, that's all I say fast enough. They can't. Sapaterio, Sapaterio. Speaking of that, Josh LaDuke, shout out to Josh LaDuke and uh, No Gi Nation. Um, F the IBJJF, as they say it. That's uh, that's all then. They support that's me. That's hashtag, okay. Spoiler, so fun fact, I was actually uh, their first sponsor. I'm not even trying to brag, but I just think this is really funny and kind of cool. But I was their first sponsor, technically, before it was even a brand. So I'm trying to get fight shorts. He's like, hey, man, I'll give you... Uh, I'll throw you some money, man, if you put fuck the IBJJF on your shorts. I was like, dude, <laughs> hell yeah, that's funny, you know? He came through and he did it, like, <laughs> instantly, like, very quick. And then, like, like not too long after, he made it into a brand, and it's popping off, you know? And, nice. Um, it's just, like, it's really cool to see. Hey, man, if like, it hits, it hits. Yeah. You know? I like it. You know, I love Josh, and I like what he's doing. He's making shorts now, and um, he looks like he's getting some really good quality stuff. Oh, yeah? Um, cool. Heck, yeah. Jack's Liberty Fitness. Uh, they've been showing me some love for a bit, and uh, shout out to Nick uh, Nesmith as well. Nick, what what has he been up to? Uh, looks like he's working out. Honestly, yeah, yeah, it looks like he's hitting every, every picture I see of him is you know pumping iron. Hell yeah, he's hit me up to uh, uh, want to do some lessons and stuff. Oh nice, jujitsu, awesome. Mix that back in there. Uh, last but not least, the band Shine Down. Oh yeah! Uh, what? Yeah. yeah. So uh, I do. Uh, <laughs> the, the drummer of Shine Down actually comes in. He's from Jacksonville. He comes in. Um, I thought they, they were all from Jacksonville. They might be. Or Tallahassee. Yeah. 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 Uh, they're uh, his wife and daughter do private lessons with me at my work at Title Boxing Club uh, in San Pablo. Nice. Um, I do lessons with them like every week, um, sometimes twice a week, and uh, I didn't know. You know, obviously about that. And then, you know, when they heard that I needed a sponsorship, they, they told came through? me about that. Yeah. Nice. I was like, oh, damn, this guy I've been working with is a drummer of Shinedown. I had no idea. Uh, it's a small world. But shout out to them because they've been showing me a lot of love. Like, it's really cool. It's met a lot of cool people since I've been in Jacksonville. And I got a big family in Jacksonville now. Uh, you um, know. So I, I love it. I love one door closes. A whole shit of other doors do open. That's right. Um, I'm also... Um, Going into the New Year's, I got right now four confirmed events um, that I'm doing sub only and MMA as well. Um, but I'm trying to do at least like six in the next quarter. Um, trying to mix in whatever I can, um, even like combat jujitsu, whatever I can find. Um, so I'm looking for some sponsors. You're just trying um, to stay active. Yeah, I'm trying to He's stay gonna active. New, He's going to put a new uh, rash guard and short set together. Yeah, you know, yeah. the rash guard. I got yeah, some stuff I got to take, take yeah. off, you know, so. Um, I, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to go forward, and um, I gotta. I gotta travel to some of these events. So definitely, if any companies out there are looking at getting their name um, out there, I know I got a couple guys that have reached out to me the last few days um, that are going to jump on board. But definitely down to represent as best as I can, and um, I'm trying to do a lot of things this year. This is just like the first little quarter of the year, but um, this is going to be a good year. I can already feel it. You know, everyone at the gym, we can all feel it. 
Yep. We'll make sure you keep us in the loop so we yeah, can keep shouting. Drone Hustler is gonna gonna sponsor him in a really unique way. Um, he's 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 not just offering slots on the shorts and the shirt and you know him being in the ring. We're gonna offer social media packages or website packages for you know your website or your business or whatever you wanna you wanna maybe market about your company or something like that. I can I can put together a you know thirty second to a minute um, for any of your social media and we can we can work out something in the future or. It, it'll all be through him and, and I'm doing this for him. So any, any, any products that you guys know about or want to push and need, you know, a little more notoriety or, or you want to get your name out there a little bit more, I'll, I'll even do some stuff for you guys now that I've got some video from tonight. Word, word. Yeah. Shit. Yes. I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I try to film stuff, but I've seen your shit. I mean, I'm not, it's all right. I'm, I'm not nearly as good. I, I film everything with my phone. So, but, uh, yeah. fuck yeah. Do you have a company? You have like a website? Yeah, Drone people- Hustler. Um, we're working on the the website right now. Um, I kind of I faked it until I made it, kind of thing. And That's so how you got to do I've, it, bro. It's ramped up so fast right yeah. now that um, I got Julian building me a website. Uh, he's he's really good at that. He's also building my boss down south at Trophy Taker Outdoors. He's he's handling all of his. Um, internet and uh, website information so that that's being all rebuilt he's been real busy so they, they've kind of we're getting to my stuff um but as far as that you can you can go to all of my personal stuff jeremy sturgeon um jeremy dot sturgeon that's I, I stand by my name so you can find me on all of my accounts through my name and drone hustlers one word so if you if you're looking for a drone hustler it'll or- be drone hustler productions.com here in the near future so nice Nice. Soon to have a Chris Crawford.com of some kind. Sweet. Yeah. I told you about the old ass shit. You need yeah. to you need to brand yourself. You need to have your website so you can sell your t shirts and all that, you know? Yeah, Just, we're doing it. We already got some t shirts already. Yeah, we're working get it done. on that. We're gonna get a, a new rash card, fight shorts, walkout shirts. Daniel Holmes there. got some really nice stuff. I saw that coming he, out yeah, for everybody. Yeah, and a lot of stuff we got a as well. direct to garment printer. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Those things, I want to get one myself. Those I, things are amazing. I, listen, I was looking at one myself. It's like four Ten grand. grand for the one that I want. Well, uh, yeah. you're, you're going big. Well, it prints on everything. I could print on this laptop if I wanted to. I could print on glass. I could print on so you're, you're coffee look, cups. Yeah, you're trying to do like spandex and everything. There. Everything. Okay. I, want, I want to be able yeah. to print on anything. Those, those I, are- I started out, Drone Hustler started out as a as a, as a clothing brand kind of to, yeah. to kind of facilitate my future growth. So that was the that was the original thing. We sold a bunch of shirts in the beginning and it's just I haven't had time to really deal with that right yeah. now. So as soon as we can get back into that, we're going to start promoting again the, uh, the clothing side of it. But right now we're just kind of, I'm a one man show. So... Yeah. Cool. It's getting there. Shout, shout out to get... Daniel Holmes, by the way. Yeah, shout out to shout Daniel. Out Daniel. You got to get me a shirt for work since, we, since we're getting ready to all be using drones for our work. Oh, nice. Sh- shout out to Shelby. What are you doing oh, for your drones at work? Uh, we do cell towers. Oh, really? If you ever need any extra work, holler at me. I got, I've got i got Inspire, two Mavics. Okay. Oh, shit. Mm. You, an Inspire? Drone hustler, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's what I do. It's on yeah. the shirt. Not, <laughs> 50 miles an hour? Nice. I mean, that's slow. If you want to go fast, we got some custom built stuff that just Ooh. destroys any DJI stuff. My boy Marlon and yeah. I have been putting together some videos for, uh, you know, the freestyle drone industry for a while now. Yeah. Um, and kind of showing our progression with, uh, you know, acro flight because it's, you know, acro is totally different than anything that DJI can, can kind of, they, they have some pre programmed, you know, the GPS craft. It's, it's a totally different ball game when you're flying FPV and you're in complete control. Yeah. So yeah, DJ DJI shit doesn't like going upside down and shit. No, like that. it doesn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Good like you, it's, it's like you want me to do what? Nah, ain't doing it, fam. Yeah. So, are you more of a cinematographer or, or videographer? What, what um, do you consider yourself? I'm pretty much producing a television show for two literal TV channels right now for the Pursuit Channel and for NBC Channel Eight down in South Florida. Yeah. Um, Trophy Taker Outdoors and Trophy Taker TV. Um, I've kind of taken over the filming side of it. And then I also took over the editing side of it and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much directing the photography for it. So I can pretty much do it all. Um, I've taught myself how to use, uh, yeah, I'm the drone and I'm the hustler. So I'm the drone hustler. Anybody can be a drone hustler. Um, we're all drones in a sense. And so that's kind of the concept, you know, it, it sounded like, you know, we fly and take pictures, but that's kind of like a play on words. So it has a lot of growth expansion capabilities. So like, I just didn't want to really pigeonhole myself with just that type of photography. And I, I learned how to use Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro. So like, 
I can, I can operate on any platform, any computer system. And so like, I, I, I really wanted to get in the door to editing because that's to me, that's, that's really. It's where you tell the story. Far, I'm yeah. capturing at a very high yeah. level because I can, I can do all the editing. So, um, I, I'd be willing to bet with Dan being as active as he is right now. Um, he, as soon as he starts to capture, like he's editing, it's the, the, the quality is going to go through the roof. It's going to be great. Like, I, I can't wait to see the future growth of Combat Night and, yeah. and how everybody's kind of coming together right now. Because it, 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 I've read a lot of books on success and business um, over the past. And when I was in the Marine Corps, they teach you a lot about leadership. And there's a lot of really good leadership going on right now. And there's not people being there's no I, I haven't I haven't gotten a bad taste for anything. yet. That's what I was just going to say. It seems like. There's a group of guys from this combat night that are just sticking together and they're all branching out to do other things. You they, know? they have everybody's got something to bring to the table right. and people aren't like they're not taking advantage of it. You know, like yeah. everybody that's got something is there and they'll stay because I don't if you don't, you're going to fall off by the wayside. You know, Mitchell and them are they move fast. So, like, if you're not part of the team on your own, they, they really don't have time to micromanage you. So those guys, you know, they're like one man show by themselves, even though, you know, him and Richard are doing most or yeah, him and Richard are doing most, but they, they still like look like they need as much help as they can get. And so I'm, I'm trying to do my part and see, see them grow. Um, Shelby's coming up, Coslo's coming up. Yeah. So they, they've got, and, and Ramon's back. I mean, it, it, it's just looking up from here, really. So I saw a post from Ramon. I know we've been trying to like sign off, but I saw a post from Ramon. He's looking for a, for an opponent. Now, he said that if he doesn't have an opponent, he's going to have to fight a homie. Is it somebody we know? I think it's Reggie Mac he was referring oh, to. Oh, damn. No. Yeah. But I don't think they, like, he Maybe wants to fight. do it. Yeah, that like, would be. But damn. Yeah. Fuck. Like, I don't, I don't like seeing guys that know each other fight. Yeah. Because, I mean, I don't, I don't know them, like, personally, but I know them. I've, I've Dan and Caleb put on a really good fight. But, you know, you could tell they were very respectful with each other in yeah. the ring. It was a good fight, but both of them have the energy to really go off on someone. And, and yeah. they were, you know, you, we, the crowd didn't get what they wanted in those, I feel like. But they, they definitely, I think they both learned a lot from that last, that last fight that they had with each other. And yeah, it's, it's weird, you know, cause you want to put a little animosity in there. You yeah. want to, you like, I really need it. I remember when, uh, when when Costello fought Ramon like a couple of years ago, yeah, and he Costello was talking some major shit. I mean, he was being funny, <laughs> but now it's like I see them together. They train together. It's like, man, I would not want to see these two fight. I, I wouldn't. I just wouldn't get any oh, enjoyment yeah. out yeah, of it. Yeah, there'd be we're some injuries. Homies. I think they, Ricky they, and I were our homies. We competed at a Naga. That, yeah, they're like yeah. back in like the summertime. Well, I don't. I don't mind seeing. I don't mind seeing yeah, homies if, grapple against yeah, each other. Yeah, if you're grappling against fight, each other, that's cool. See, but when you're yeah. throwing punches and kicks, something that could potentially hurt you, you know, I'm like, nah, man. I don't. I don't want to see guys that know each other fight. Yeah. You know, especially from from here. It's hard to not have lingering feelings too. You know, so yeah. like that could. It changes things, you know? Yeah. Because then you're going to want to get it back. And then that's kind of wasting time when you're in the amateur ticket because you don't need to be doing these reruns. You know what I mean? Like, you need to keep going. Yeah. Keep moving forward, you know, keep picking the next guy so you can get more and more and more looks because the point is to get to the pro level, you know, and and to be healthy when you get there is really important. Um, Longevity is like something people need to watch after for themselves. You hear that, Squirrel? Uh, We we, we got his back for sure. We got a good, we got a good team at home. Um, Awesome. You guys should get over to the house sometime, man. Roll I'm glad this. because you have man. some shit roommates in the past. I know. <laughs> I know. But anyway, before we go, Sherry, any shout outs? Uh, anything you want to add? No, I'm good. No, I'm good. <laughs> God damn it. Chris. No, I'm good, brother. Man. Thank you, Chris, for coming. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for coming. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, it. Anytime, it. anytime. Yeah, I definitely definitely. I'd definitely like to get you back in because I'd like to. I'd like to hear more on the, on the drone stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah, anytime, man. So. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for your support. We appreciate you listening. As we stated before, we are now on Spotify, and of course, we're on iTunes, Google Play, and all your major pl- uh, podcast platforms. So, thank you very much for listening, and we'll catch you next week. Peace.